Hi, my name is Merab Kokaya. I'm from Lund University, Sweden. Optogenetics is a novel methodological platform combining optical and genetic tools to probe specific parts of neuronal circuits and selective neuronal populations at ice high speeds. It is unprecedented instrumental approach to understand brain function and information processing. One of the optogenetic tools is halorhodopsin chloride pump, called NPHR, derived from Archibacterium natronomonas pharaonis. When it is expressed in neurons and is exposed to orange spectrum of light, the transgenic NPHR pumps chloride ions into transduced neurons, hyperpolarizing the cells and inhibiting their activity. We hypothesize that selective light-induced silencing of the excitatory neurons would be effective in blocking epileptiform activity in the brain. For this purpose, we selectively expressed NPHR in excitatory neurons of hippocampus lice cultures, which allowed us to silence these excitatory neurons by light illumination, leaving other neurons unaltered. Indeed, we demonstrated that in NPHR transduced slices, orange spectrum light illumination is effectively inhibiting epileptiform activity. Blue light was ineffective, suggesting that this effect was specific to NPHR expression. So taken together, this data show that uh, optogenetic approach is capable of inhibiting epileptiform activity. Of course, our data is only proof of concept in vitro situation, and it needs to be proven also in vivo, in animal models of epilepsy. However, it is beyond the doubt that optogenetics is becoming a powerful tool to address fundamental questions of neuroscience in general and mechanisms of various neurological diseases in particular. Whether it will also become a therapeutic approach, providing more selective and tailored alternative approach for deep brain stimulation, remains to be seen, and this avenue is certainly worth exploring. It may be feasible that optogenetics will become a part of the strategies for brain prosthetics in epilepsy, currently under development in several laboratories worldwide.